Hi, well, good morning. I didn't want to bring about the change too quickly for you, but I think that maybe I ought to explain some things to you. This channel was developed for maybe a little bit of explanation to what people might think really is a transgender person. But truly and actually, it's all satirical. So yeah, I am a transgender person. But no, I don't think you deserve to know exactly everything. So I'm going to put up things as they are. And I'm going to talk about things as I see them. And if you think that you deserve anything other than a laugh, then you're probably right. You deserve more than a laugh. But you know what? You didn't take my advice when I gave it to you. You looked at me like I was some sort of idiot, like I was some sort of fool. And goodness gracious, why is he walking around not close to the camera? Because, you know, I don't think myself very pretty. So I'm going to be an ugly girl if I am one. <laughs> so I have to understand that even ugly ticks need loving too. But even in that case, what are you going to do about that? Hmm? What are you going to do about me? Or even in that case, what are you going to do about anything that I'm saying to you? But you know what? It doesn't matter, does it? Because, you know, you're just a dizzy cow. And I'm sorry about your your um, searing wit being lost upon your brain, but you can't think of things too seriously because you know what, love? You've got to be able to take a joke. And if you can't take a joke, then you might not want to be listening. We're living in a country where you claim yourself to be free when you're not. And you look around you and you got chains all over you. Look at my chains. You see my chains? They're right here. Right here for you to see them. I don't know if you can get that in the camera. Look, right there. Chains. These are not my boobies. See? They're down here. It's chains on my jacket. And it was a jacket, but, you know, I decided to be like um, a character in American Dad. Snot. Cut off my sleeves so I'm sleeveless. Yeah. But you know what? The jacket itself is quite nice and I love it. And I don't think it's a problem. But, you know, there are people in the world that think that I might be a little bit mad or daft or crazy. But... Well, that's all pretend. All of it is pretend. Even my craziness is pretend because, you know, I am ultimately just gearing myself up for one more thing to be tricky to you and all the rest of the people in the world that think that, way we have to be one way or another. Well, guess what? I am gay. Do I think that there's a problem with that? No. Do I think there's a problem with you liking to rub one out to this situation? No, I don't. Do I also think that you can shadow ban me for having an opinion? Well, go right ahead if you think it'll stop me. But guess what, my friends? You have been fooled if you think you can. And I don't care if your social justice warrior crap gets me banned or what. Does it make a difference to me? I know that I'm doing the best I can no matter what you try to do. I have an opinion and it's not yours. You have an opinion and it's not mine. We can agree to disagree and I can laugh and laugh and laugh at your foolish attempt to make me mad. But you know what? Even if I use four little words on the superlatives and all the epithet that, accru that accrued on the videos today that I was answering comments to, who cares if you get offended? Because that's our right as Americans, is it not? That's our right as people, is it not? The right to get offended is the right to be heard. And that's where I'll leave it, at least for that. So, if you can't take a joke, then you might want to switch the channel. And if you can't understand comedy or perception of reality, then you might want to get one. A perception, a perspective, an opinion that matters, and even a life of your own, because this is mine. If you think that you can tell me what to do with my own life or my body, and judge it, call it, Judgy, judgy, jury, judgy, whatever, and execution are going to hang me for calling it mutilation? Boy, oh, boy, oh, you've got it wrong. You're going to call me a mutilated soul. But guess what? I'm already mutilated. I'm already a mutant. Look at me. A mutant. You know why I'm a mutant? Because DNA is a mutation. Every single time a person is born, the DNA is different from the original host. There's some of it that's different, and the mutations occur, which gives you specific likenesses and dislikenesses from your parents. And if you have enough genetic diversity, you look nothing like your parents. Or you look different in some slighter ways, and you have some key elementations from your previous parentage, or your parents' parentage, or so on and so forth, and on down the line. I'm not going to explain what I know a little more for you, but you know, you have to do your own research. And if you take my word for it, then you're probably going to be wrong, because I've done research, but... You know, there's a reason they call it 
research and not search because you do it more than once okay you search first then you research to make sure you're right and then you search in different ever different other expectations or uh, exponents of different things that happen in life and different things that happen in your world and you look at things differently all kinds of things differently and you do things never the same in the same pattern you'll get more facts out of life that way because my friends doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results that's insanity but doing different things and expecting the same result is real research when you do different things and you get the same result often that leads to truism does it not and if you do different things that leads to different results maybe you've missed the mark you have to get back to let's see what can we do this different that achieves the same result if it comes to that and it gets the same thing back in return from doing different things different ways then you know you have a fact my friend and if you can't understand that then why do I bother talking because in this accent, at least I'm having fun.